Good afternoon guys. I would say good morning, but let's be real. We woke up late today It rained a lot last night, but it was the perfect timing because it rained while we were sleeping We got some good sleep. We have a late start to the day, but it's actually so nice and fresh today It's beautiful weather. So what we're doing right now is we're just gonna explore Bellagio. We're going to Villa Melzi today Yeah, Melzi is another villa because all we do here is Villa Hop basically. It's pretty much They're so gorgeous. <laughs> villa Hop, eat and take in the views and yeah So we are here at Villa Melzi. This is I Giardini di Villa Melzi. And literally just walking straight past those gorgeous rows of floral trees. And you're here. So it's actually very easy to get to. Like I said, you just walk all the way to the end of those flowers. You do just like a little tiny one minute walk on the outside and then boom, you're right here. So it's super close. Right now we're in I Giardini di Villa Melzi because I think the actual villa is much further down. So what we're gonna do is walk through the whole garden. And it's so pretty and it costs about six euros maybe 650 euros each a person just to enter because every villa you have to pay something and they're usually about five to ten euros I would say to get into most villas so it's just stunning so I'm really excited to be here <laughs> to explore this lovely villa it is beautiful guys we're very excited it's the perfect thing to do on a day like today because we did start a bit later today yeah so it's nice that this villa is right in our property yeah. <laughs> This tree is very interesting. My mom says it looks like an overgrown shrub. I don't know what this is, but it's quite spectacular. Platano Europa. Oh. I love the, the color. It looks like an army print. That's so cool. Look, we can see our villa from here. Villa Carlota. That was the one from yesterday. Ooh, and this is the one from today. Ah, oh, look how pretty this is. Dee -dee -dee -dee. <laughs> I'm just making my mom nervous. Wow, it's stunning here. You're right on the edge so you can see everything, see? There's some people swimming. This is an unobstructed view of this gorgeous Lake Como. So this villa is very pretty so far. There is not so much to see as the villa that we went to yesterday, but the gardens are still very nice to walk and it's very peaceful around here. There's not that many tourists around. It's just a really nice place to walk. So I recommend at least seeing, I'm not gonna say a villa a day, but maybe a villa every other day when you're in Lake Como because it's just so worth it. And there's just gorgeous villas on every, little town here along the lake so definitely worth it to see the villas now let's walk back <laughs> For some reason, I don't understand why you can't go into this huge villa here. Maybe it's privately owned or they close it off for the public unless there's a special event. But I think we can go into this little thing up here. So let's see. This stuff is probably so old. Touching it. <laughs> Oh, I touched this. So, so this is I. the Truscan finds. Very cool. That's what we were looking at. This is where we were inside. Il Museo X Aranciera. The Orangery Museum. Very cool. Orangery Museum. Cool. Guys, doesn't this look just like the prince from Shrek? Like identical. I think they modeled it after him, honestly. 
He looks the same. Who is this guy? Lord Farquaad. Yeah, exactly. So gorgeous. So we just visited that Villa Melzi because it's very convenient for us. We're right in Bellagio, walk down the street and we went in. It is 6.50 euros to enter and you basically get to see the grounds of the actual villa. You get to see the small little chapel and a little tiny museum. 6.50 euro, it wasn't bad, but I would say that if you had one villa to visit during your time in Lake Como, I wouldn't really recommend that one because it is not the most spectacular villa I've ever seen by any means. It does have stunning views and a beautiful garden area but I would recommend seeing the villa that we saw yesterday, Villa Carlotta, or of course Villa Balbianello, as that is very popular as well. This one was very pretty, but I wouldn't recommend you seeing this villa if you had only one to choose from. But what we kind of like to do is probably see like a villa a day. Now that's like the new thing that we like to do, so it was really nice to see in Bellagio, and I'm happy that I did see it. So personally, the villa that stood out the most to me, the one that had the most sentimental value, was Villa Carlotta. Something about it was just magical. I loved the pieces of artwork in there. I loved the gardens. The botanical gardens are unparalleled in all of Lake Como. I that feel was like your favorite villa? That was my favorite. Well, I, Villa out of the three that we saw. Out of the three that we saw, Villa Balbianello is another one to see. But I actually think I might just like Villa Carlotta a little bit better because <laughs> it just held more, more of a magical feeling for me. And I think the nature and the beauty of it was amazing, but Lisa was saying no, Balbianello, she thinks it's her favorite. I mean, I think if someone said, okay, you have to pick a villa to get married in, I would just get married and in Balbianello. And <laughs> And Julia's too. too. Yes, Villa Balbianello <laughs> is definitely my number one favorite so far. So far. And I vote for Carlotta, so. So do I. I vote for Carlotta, Carlotta. so does mom. Hello, a quick little outfit change for dinner. I actually am wearing just a black dress because I felt like my other one was a little bit too daytime for tonight. But we are going today for a lovely dinner and going to this dinner requires for us to take a shuttle bus because we're going to have a really nice panoramic view. So we're just finding out where to take the shuttle bus and then from there we are going to the restaurant. So exciting for a delicious meal. Me too. Beautiful view. Can't wait. Ciao. Ciao. So we're waiting around here for the pickup. Let's hope it's right. Baita Belvedere. It is a trattoria and our Airbnb host actually helped us to make these reservations. She even suggested the restaurant to us, which was really nice. So yeah, you just wait for the shuttle bus. It takes you up and then you're supposed to have a gorgeous view of Bellagio. So we will see when we get there. <laughs> oh, the cows. Oh my gosh, the cows. Restaurant Trattoria Baisa Belvedere. This is a really a Belvedere. Look at this. Wow, stunning. You're high up in the mountains in Bellagio, Lake <laughs> Como. You're narrating my vlog too. <laughs> Incredible. Cheers. Look at this view, guys. Cheers from paradise. Cheers. Oh, my spritz is at the table. Oh. Cheers. <laughs> The sun it's is setting and stunning. it's gorgeous. So we're starting with a nice cheese and salami plate. So there's some prosciutto, salami, and some various cheeses. We saw cows on the property, so it's definitely like milk from their cows, I believe. So, And look at the view, guys. Wow. Incredible. Oh my gosh, so this is the polenta unta, which is made with cornmeal, and it has all cheese and butter and, oh my god, sage and... Oh my gosh, just look at that. That looks heavenly. Oh. How do you spell it? Unta? Unta, U-N-T-A. Unti e unti. Okay, so we got the pizzoccheri and the tagliatelle with funghi porcini. When you're in Italy, you have to have funghi porcini. They are the best. And this dish is very classic of the area, pizzoccheri. It basically has like cheese, potato, cabbage, and it's made with a buckwheat pasta. And it looks really, really good. Oh, and it also had, what else did it have in it, Jules? I think you said something else. Oh, look at that. So we got panagotta. And we also got this, we also got this chestnut dessert, which is castanias and cream. Look at this view at nighttime. There's where we sat. And look at this stunning view. Oh my gosh. Incredible. Wow. Oh, oh, our new friend is giving us a drink. A nice limoncello. 
Because we're Canadian, but we're cold. Solo due. Solo due. See, see, see. No, no, no. So we just ate at that really good restaurant. It was so good. We had such a good meal. It was such a nice experience, and it's like a family run trattoria, so it was really delicious. And we had a really good meal. The most beautiful view ever. Yes. Guys, this is Stunning. living life. If you haven't been to Como, get your ass to Como. <laughs> and check out that restaurant. So good. Good, good morning, home. guys. This hat's gonna like I'm knock you over. <laughs> We're not gonna be able to take so no. selfies with this hat. I just wanted to say that we had such a great dinner yesterday, so we highly recommend that restaurant, Bayita Belvedere. It was absolutely beautiful, delicious food, so good. family run restaurant. We had like local cuisine and local specialties, which were really delicious. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sorry, my hat. They made me wear this today because it says, Don't We you made you. She wanted to. I said, and you I'm don't the wear hat today, lady, you're not so I'm the only one that can pull off these ginormous hats. <laughs> yeah. So, anyways, we had such a delicious dinner yesterday. Highly recommend it. Really nice restaurant, very sweet people and working now it's there. It's our last day, so we're gonna. Last day in so up. Yes, and then we'll say hi to our new friend Jacopo because he gave us <laughs> some nice limoncello and he was such a sweet waiter. So, so sweet. highly recommend that restaurant. Now today we are going island hopping. <laughs> island hopping. Oh, they have this cute little market going on right now. That's very cute. Look how pretty he made a cappuccino today. Oh my gosh, gorgeous. This is honestly one of my favorite cappuccinos in Bellagio. No, it is the best. Yeah, this is Hotel Florence. So cute. We're just grabbing a quick cappuccino and a little tiny crostada at the bar before we head off on our adventure. <laughs> Look how pretty you wow. are. So this is the ferry station. This is Pontile 2. Pontile 1 is over there. And then further down is the other station where you also can embark with your cars just right there. Everything is very close. It's so peaceful here, guys. It's beautiful. Of course, you could take a nice private boats like that one, but we take the lovely ferries. And today we are doing a 15 euro one that, like I said, you can go to different places and it's going to be super nice to be able to hop on, hop off, and just take a nice ferry boat ride because that's what we love. We usually sneak away to the top and just enjoy. I can't wait. Look how stunning, guys. How stunning is Lake Como? It's like a dream, really. We are in Menaggio. It's very scenic. Look how stunning. And they actually have some really nice restaurants overlooking the water and it is much less busy here. So a lot less tourists here. And also you can come to Menaggio to take the bus to, I think it's called Lugano, which you're in another country, which is super cool. <laughs> Switzerland. So it's actually a cool thing to do and look how beautiful. Just the feeling of this fresh air on my face and just this view is like, indescribably good. Oh. oh, so nice. I love it here. I'm sure that it's a bit less expensive in Menaggio as opposed to Bellagio, which is a little bit more expensive. But a lot of people ask me where you recommend staying when you come to Como. I love to stay in Bellagio. Just make sure that you're staying near the center. Otherwise, you might be walking far, but I love staying in Bellagio. Next up would probably be Verena. Look at the little swan over there. It's so cute. Adorable. So cute. Gosh, look how cute these bottles are. Mm. We got Bounty and we got Pistacchio. And look how nice. This is the color that Pistacchio should look. Not very crazy Let's green. See, look how creamy That's this how guys. you know. Oh my gosh. Heaven. I'm so excited. Me and Jules are sharing because we're going to have gelato soon. <laughs> so good. How cute is this pink church? Adorable. There's this cute little lavender cart. They seem to have them on all of these little towns. It's so cute. 
<laughs> How adorable is that bicycle? <laughs> Jen? Buongiorno. We are at Bar Imolo in Varena. <laughs> and this is one of our favorite places to eat because si mangia bene qui. You eat very well here. And it's got this beautiful view. <laughs> wow, look at this view, guys. Stunning. Varena is such a cute we little town. We are really living. We are really living. La Dolce Vita. If you guys can see that. <laughs> beautiful. So we're so excited to be eating here. This is one of my favorite meals from our trip last year in Como. I'm sure if you watched our last year's Como video on her channel, it was so fun. So we're literally back here for our last full day in Como and we're so sad to be leaving, but we're happy to be here eating this beautiful lunch with this amazing view. We did it again. We said we we're gonna do new things, but we decided to come back here because this was part of our little half on half off day that we're having. Yes. So we want to get that nice caprese salad just by ourselves. We're not sharing. Yes. Aw, with mom too. Hello. Cheers! Woo! Oh, look how soft this mozzarella ball is. Like oh my gosh. <laughs> this is why I wasn't Grazie. sharing. Yummy. Grazie. This looks amazing. Oh, with our spritz and this view, guys. Paradise! <laughs> Look how creamy and cheesy this is inside. Oh my gosh, guys. It tastes like a burrata in here. This is the mozzarella di bufala here, and it is the best mozzarella di bufala ever. Mm -hmm. Highly recommend getting this at Bar Il Molo with a spritz, and you can't go wrong. We got the coppa, what's it called? Comincia? We got oh, the coppa, but instead of just vanilla, we replaced it with nochuola. So there's nochuola, pistacchio, chocolate sauce, and, and meringues. Yum! Mm -hmm. So pretty here, I love it. We're about to take the boat back to Bellagio, I believe, because there's a certain time that the ferries just stop going back and forth. Then you have to take a bus, so we don't want to risk it, so we're going back to Bellagio. So, it's a really fun day. Bye, Varena. You are so cute. Beautiful. We are at La Punta di Bellagio. This is the point. Bellagio sort of looks like a little point. And there's even a restaurant here called the Ristorante La Punta, which you can find here at La Punta. <laughs> Night, guys. We're so sad. I can't believe it. Our beautiful trip to Como, Lago di Como, has already come to an end. Already, it like flew by so quickly. <laughs> I'm not ready to leave. No. We're never ready to leave. No, right? we could have used one more day. That's <laughs> we what, always say that. That's wherever our famous we go. thing. Could have used one, one more day. day. Just one more day. I know. No, but here we really mean it. Just because even if you just spend one more day, literally doing nothing and just look, taking in the surroundings, it's not a day wasted. Not enough. <laughs> <laughs> We are officially leaving Como. I'm 
so sad to be leaving, but we're on our way to Firenze, which is so exciting. What we learned this trip is that if you end up in Como and you need to go to Bellagio, take the bus there and back. It's the cheapest thing and it's the most convenient because the bus literally picks you up and drops you off right in the center every time. It's not worth it taking the ferry. It's a zoo and it's more expensive. Or if you end up in Varena, take the ferry because it's very convenient. But I would say if you're in Como, it's really easy to take the bus. Very convenient, very inexpensive. It's like, what, four euros a person? Just make sure if you have luggage, you pay the extra euro and let them know because you need to do that as well. But we had such a great trip, guys. I'm so sad that it's come to an end. We're so sad. But we just had a nice little cornetto and cappuccino and we're ready for our nice trek to Florence. <laughs> Hello, I found a fellow viewer. <laughs> So great to see someone that I found on YouTube yeah. that was like Como that gave me suggestions for like Como. Uh -huh. so it was so much fun, and I said, "Hey, that's you." <laughs> Did you so have a good trip? We've never been to Como, so wow. now we're, so we're trying to figure out what were the things to do. The wow. highlights, and we love the recommendations, and we, so we follow many of them. Oh, so cute! We had a great time on, on the lake. It was just a beautiful great. experience. We're on our way to Venice now. Oh, uh, nice! We're down some of your tips as well. Oh, great! We're following you. Yes, yeah. for sure. What are your names? We're actually Dr. Giannis and Dr. Pack, but Beverly oh. and John. Oh, that's very nice. Well, have a great trip, guys. Enjoy Italy.